fume heads to my thoughts on Herod Swarovski limited edition otherwise known as Herod's Oud brought to us in 2009 from bond number nine now a while ago I made a top 10 personal favorite fragrance video and this one was not in that list but it really should have been along with so many other fragrances but this Fragrance I absolutely adore. One of my favorites. My favorite fragrance from Bond Number no. 9. Not only is it just an awesome fragrance, it's one of the best Western Oud fragrances to be had, if not the best. Now, when we're talking about the notes, what we have in here is cumin, black pepper, oud, vetiver, myrrh, and amber. It's a short list. Not a very complex fragrance, but not everything in life needs to be complex to be beautiful uh, what comes to my mind is like some of the best songs that are out there that touch the soul are very simple pieces put together don't get overly technical you know they don't have to be not everything has to be it just has to be perfect with what's used with what's put together and that's what happened here with these few notes uh, just put together in such a brilliant, fantastic way that it really creates a masterpiece. You know, not everything from every fragrance house is a masterpiece, comes out to be perfect. Uh, but bond number nine with this one really did a fantastic job. You know, excellent. There's not one thing that I would change about this scent. Perfection. Now, what I get out of this fragrance. The oud in here is focused more on the woody side. This is a very woody fragrance. Not so much of the barnyard animalic side is coming through. Just an ever so light touch of it there. Uh, and another major player in this fragrance is the myrrh along with that woody oud uh, creating this latex type freshness. Along with that, we have the vetiver bringing in an earthy feel and dressed up with a touch of spice, black pepper and cumin. Now, some people can see that word cumin and be freaked out going, oh no, <laughs> body odor. But for me, cumin is not the spice that I really pick up on in this blend. It's more so the black pepper. So I wouldn't be worried about that. And you see amber in the notes. You could be thinking, oh, this is going to have an oriental feel with it. Not so much. This fragrance is dry. Uh, but... It doesn't get overly dry. The amber in here helps it from doing that. Uh, helps to smooth everything out, but it's not a noticeable force. You do not feel its sweetness. It's used just perfectly to keep this fragrance what it should be. Now, with the progression of this scent, it pretty much, for the most part, stays linear throughout the entire life. This is on your skin. What you get at the top, uh, you're still going to smell <laughs> many, many, many hours later. This stuff lasts, I don't know, 10, 12 hours plus, maybe more. It just keeps going. So, longevity is awesome. Uh, but, it pretty much stays the same, except for towards the end, uh, you will start seeing amber show its face. But, by no means does this fragrance pick up any kind of richness, any kind of oriental feel. The amber in here stays stays very soft, minimal, and focuses more on the woody aspect uh, that amber can have. Now as far as projection, uh, this stuff is fantastic, perfect. It does not go into beast mode, but it definitely does not sit close to the skin. It gets noticed every single time, every single time, I've had this fragrance, I don't know, for a couple of years now, every single time that I wear this scent, I get positive feedback with it. Somebody says something to me and they say something great about how I smell. I've never heard anything bad. So another reason this fragrance is a rock star for me is that I personally love it. I think very highly of it. Uh, I think it's one of the best fragrances out there to be had. So I love it myself and also other people love it as well. My wife really likes it. So this, across the board, is just a win-win-win. So yeah, uh, 
Really, really love this stuff. Uh, fantastic job, Bond number nine. And what am I going to give this fragrance for a final rating? <laughs> well, that's pretty easy to figure out. I'm going to give this a five yeah. stars with a huge applause. Yay! Uh, awesome job, Bond number nine. Uh, fantastic juice. Uh, and I think this year I'm going to spend a little bit more time with some Bond scents because lately I've been sniffing some out and I'm pretty impressed with a lot of the stuff that I put my nose on. So be looking forward to more reviews from Bond number nine coming up. But that is my thoughts. Oh, one thing that I forgot to talk about in this video uh, are the bottles. There are two different bottles to be had. One size, 100 ml, uh, but one bottle is 330 bucks without the Swarovski crystals. I'll show the picture here. Uh, that is the bottle that I actually own, and the bottle that we've seen throughout this video and right now is the one, the beautiful, gorgeous presentation with the crystals. $630 for that bottle. Yeah, that's a little pricey. <laughs> uh, but you know, someday, if I ever have an extra 600 bucks laying around that I can just spend frivolously, I'm gonna get that bottle. I don't know why, I just wanna have it. It will be the star of my collection. One day, I will have the pretty shiny bottle. <laughs> but. That is it, guys. Uh, thanks for tuning in. You guys take care, and we will see you soon.